I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to identify the strength in a dealt hand. For Siamese Mahjong, that means that you're having to do that for two hands at one time. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We will alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27 tiles, back to 28 tiles. We have a flower, news, with a pair of east, green and red dragon. Then we have, in cracks, one, three, four, six, seven, nine, and we have pairs of ones, sixes, and nines. In bams, we have one, three, four, five, six, pair of eights. And in dots, we have a pair of ones, five, and eight singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for a news pair hand and like numbers with ones. I think this is what I would try to do. Either six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, or a sequence in here or here. So we can try to use these multiples. Now we're not going to be able to use them all. And then with news, we need to get a north, west, and south. And then down here, I would play like numbers with ones. Maybe use the dragons, but not sure. So I would at least keep the red dragon. This one probably can go, but I would keep it just in case. So I would start by discarding those. One of the things I was thinking is we could play three, six, nine dragon. Three, six, nine dragon. So maybe let that go. Keep this, discard those. Three, six, nine, dragon. Either way, we're going to have multiples that we're not going to use. And then up here, either three, four, five, four, five, six, or six, seven, eight with news pair hand. This would be a, a challenge. We've got three different hands going, but we do have discards and we could just gather and see what shakes out. We have six tiles towards like numbers, six tiles towards three, six, nine. And then we have eight tiles towards news pair hand either way. Really five discards and three hands. It's best to try to have two clear hands, but in this case, in order to use these multiples, I think this is what I would do and go with whatever builds up first. If we get ones, maybe see about using these as options for the pair hand. If we get three, six, nine, use these for joker bait. This, this is gonna be a challenge to play through.
We have a joker, a pair of flowers, a pair of green dragons, and a red dragon, east and west. Then here we have two, five, eight, nine in cracks with twos and fives being pairs. One, four, five, six, eight in dots. We have one through five in bams, seven, eight, nine. One short of a full sequence. We need a six bam in there. All singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play a pear hand with the dragons and flowers, and then two, four, six, eight, maybe concealed if we get flowers. So here's a potential pair hand. We need to pair up the sequence, but we have the flowers and the dragons. Here we could play two, four, six, eight concealed if we can get more flowers. That would be the only hand I, I could see right now, otherwise I would just gather. We could use this for joker bait for this hand down here. I was thinking keep the dragon, because we might be able to do a pear hand if we get a white dragon and flowers. We, of course, would have to throw that away. I would start by discarding those. We do have one, three, five, seven, nine singles. Hmm. Looks a little bit bleak, but I try to get to where I have eight discards or less, and here we have seven with joker bait. And I think that's kind of a silver lining, especially being fives, because that's a popular tile being in the middle of a sequence. It would need work. We have a joker, pair of flowers, a green dragon, east and south, two, three, seven, eight, and bams. In dots, almost a full sequence. We need a six dot and a three dot in here. We have pairs of sevens and eights. And then in cracks, we have one, two, three, four, eight, nine, pair of ones, pung of twos. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play this, the 7 8, 7 8, 7 8 pair hand and consecutive concealed hand in three suits. We have a lot of discards, two more than I like to, but we have a pair hand potential and a concealed hand potential, no gaps. Now up here, we need a seven crack. Here, no gaps. Because we have so many discards, I think I would keep options. Maybe the three, four. That would kind of equalize those discards and give us an option. For one through five, we would have to discard this though, but we could use this to help with the missing five crack. 
one through five in one suit. I'd like to try that concealed hand though. So maybe just hold these, shoot for the concealed hand, pair hand, discards. Siamese Mahjong can be played online or in person. If you want to play online and you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below and I can send you information about the VIP trial. You can play American Mahjong, the four player game at Mahjong time, and the Siamese Mahjong game at SiameseMahjong.com with the same account. So it's like a buy one, get one free. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend you do. It is a lot of fun. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.